video this is something that's brand new to me so I am gonna try different angles and things but I'm gonna attempt to make fajitas today so I have a fajita kit so I am cheating a little bit this is from Asda I will include any prices of ingredients down below so that you can go and make this yourself um, but yeah it says that you can add chicken peppers tomatoes salad and sour cream I'm only gonna do chicken and peppers because of the mix that's already in here so I'm gonna find out what's in the box so let's do that together. So in the kit you get the eight tortilla, tortilla wraps, you get the salsa, so I'm going to put the box to one side for a moment, you get a sachet of the salsa and you also get a sachet of fajita seasoning. This is for your chicken, I've put 30 millilitres of oil into this bowl, I've just realised I've managed to get pepper seeds in there, so I shall get those out. Um, but then, yeah, I basically need to slice up my chicken and then we will be good to go. So I'm just getting the pepper seeds out that I managed to drop in there. But yeah, so I'm going to move that to one side. I am using just Tesco's vegetable oil for that, um, but I'm just slicing peppers, so I will show you that. Okay, so I'm the kind of person that likes to prepare the veg first. So I am just going to finely slice my peppers. And these may end up being slightly fried off, I'm not sure yet. Um, normally I would slightly fry them off a bit. Um, I'm not doing a very good job of slicing them thinly, but hey-ho. And I know I'm using a red board, it's only because I'm going to be cutting chicken on it soon. Um, my board is always thoroughly cleaned and I used to um, anti-back wipe it as well, so it has been completely cleaned off and then you know, I'm ready to use it for my peppers which I'm going to cut up like so. Um, I did pick up two peppers for this but I don't know if I'm going to need two peppers if I'm doing. I've done one whole yellow pepper which I'm going to just move into the bowl over here. Um, but no, I probably will use all of this actually. I'm just going to take some of the white out and put it in my bowl. I have a bowl behind my phone that you can't see that I'm putting some vegetable stuff in. And then obviously I need to get the middle out of this red pepper, like so. That's me just flicking seeds out. I prefer slapping it because that gets them out. And I'll just do some of this one to show you as well but no these peppers were from Aldi so if you do want to replicate this recipe um, like I say I'll make sure ingredients and costs were put in the description if you are on a budget like me and you want to do this on a budget so I have prepared my peppers I'm going to move them out of the way and now I have to prepare my chicken so this is Aldi chicken this current chicken pack was previously frozen because um, when I originally bought these, I, um, oh, where was my trail of thought going then? When I previously bought these, I wasn't going to use them in time for um, when they were going to go out of date, if you like. So I am going to cut this into chicken strips. Now, I've never done chicken strips, so I mean... I may have to cut these again in half, we shall see. Is my knife sharp enough? I hope so. I will find out if I cut my fingers, won't I? Not going to happen. But no, um, I am just going to strip my chicken. I might have to do it a bit better than that. Minding fingers, of course. But no. There we go. I've got to do two whole chicken breasts for this. So, going to be a feast tonight. But yeah, I don't normally freeze my chicken, but I did on this occasion because 
The date on this was the 12th of January and it's only been in the freezer for a week by this point because when I bought it I just wasn't sure that I was going to use it. So I've just got the other one to do. And then what I do need to do is mix the seasoning. That would be okay for a strip. I'm just trying to make the strips not too thick because they'll take forever to cook. So hence my stripping the chicken a bit more evenly. Obviously, as you are aware, stripping chicken isn't actually all that difficult. That piece is a bit big. Let's cut that one in half. There we go. And then, yeah. If I ever find any bad bits, I'll keep that as one piece. But if you ever find any bad bits of chicken, I just disregard them if I think they're not going to be any good. I'm going to cut that in half again. There we go. So that is my chicken sliced and, um, you know what I mean? Chicken sliced. So going off the back of the box, I've cut it into strips and I've got to coat it in oil before shaking and shimmying oil, the seasoning on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it into the bowl with the oil in it and I'll toss it around a bit. And then regarding the seasoning, I might use another bowl for that. So it says to coat it in the oil, which is fine. It just means that it will pick up the seasoning well. So this, like I said, this was the 30 millilitres of um, vegetable oil. Oh, it smells really good. Don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera, but that is the fajita seasoning. I'm going to flick it into here. There we go. Okay, let's get that coated. The things we do for decent fajitas, eh? And then it says, lay the chicken in an oiled pan and cook for five to eight minutes until golden. Okay, so let's get the seasoning all sorted. So, as you may or may not be able to tell, the seasoning does go quite a long way. But what I will do is um, I will put that in a pan now. I'm just heating up my pan and then you'll see me tip it into my frying pan. Whilst my frying pan's heating up, I am going to put two of my... I'm going to put a couple of the tortillas into the microwave because it says heat all the tortillas in the microwave for up to 45 seconds. So I need to open these and I can heat them up. I will do them all and then if I decide to make them all up I can and then I'll just and then maybe I'll keep some for lunch tomorrow. I need my microwave plate back in. Okay, that's probably hot enough. Okay, so we're going to go in with the chicken. Surprisingly, that wasn't hot enough to fall apart when it's cooking. I'll show you that when it's finished. I just want to add, at this point, it is starting to already smell amazing. And I mean, you can hear that it's cooking itself. But it does honestly smell incredible already. And I think this fajita kit will be used again. Chicken's done. I'm just quickly frying off the peppers a little bit. Um, but I'm also now going to prepare my wrap station. So, the wraps are in the microwave, so I'm going to get the wraps out. And then I'm going to take one at a time, and then I'll put a bit of chicken, a bit of salad, and then a bit of the salsa, and then I'll make another one, etc. You can see, I've got my wrap. 
and put some peppers on it. A bit more sweet yellow pepper on it. I don't know how full these wraps can be. So, and then take my chicken, pop some chicken on there. Maybe do like four bits of chicken. And then I need to open the salsa, which is going to be fun because I need to then squeeze some of this out. So, what I'm then going to do is just put a teeny tiny bit of the salsa on. And then, if I can remember how to wrap the wrap correctly, give it a bit of a shimmy shimmy shake. And then I'm going to tuck the end up, tuck the side up. I'm going to do a taste test. They don't wrap as easily as they're shown. I'm not going to lie. It does actually taste really good, I just need to work on the wrapping skills.